orders are as follows. Setting down, everything in the green. Good morning, cadets. Welcome back to our Starfield playthrough where we landed directly in the Nova Galactic Hi. Research Station. And... Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I hey, am Vasco. dissatisfied with the results. And I tried to do a bit more of screen and get some powers because apparently I had the quest power from beyond. But I think, unfortunately, this one got bugged as well. Because I think I already got the power from Indom 3. And not sure why I got it back. And when I went to the system, I got a notification about Indom 2. So I got that one. And I'm not seeing any landing area for the third one. And if I go back to Vladimir, it's not going to give me a new one. And even if I select this one and say show on map, it doesn't show anything. So not sure what's going on there. And I also checked out with Rafael on Alpha Centauri not much of an interesting conversation so i just did that off screen so we have actually him on the ship and speaking of, of the crew i actually put everybody that was available that wasn't assigned already on my ship uh, so the only ones that uh, i don't have on my ship is lean and heller the rest everybody that was available we have them on the ship uh, including Vasco and I don't know why he was deselected so yeah that was a bit weird well yeah let's see what's this about and we're back on the moon on the research station do we have any this relay station has to be at least a hundred years old stunning okay, I need moon base key oh Oh, I already have it. I thought I... Right, never mind. I'm assuming it's this way then. Hey, NASA. Right. Mad packs. Let's see what we can find here. A bit of credits. Okay, we do have... Logs around here. Moon base slate one. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. Voltaire is being reconfigured for this new initiative. The math we're being asked to crunch is ambitious, even for a supercomputer. We might as well be asking it to count every grain of sand in every desert on Earth. Who came up with these original equations? Our partner isn't being very open about it. Every question I have goes through some discretionary channel. I'm surprised we even know we're working on a ship. Ah. Collect all the slates. Oh. I'll definitely try to be as thorough as possible then. Is this hinting that I was actually a starborn? That kind of helped with the project. It might not be, you know, but I guess we'll see. So I have an upper path as well. Okay, I do need to get there. Right. Let's looks see. Like everybody evacuated fast. Yeah, looks like it. This is four. Wait, uh, are they already marked? It has three. Uh, I guess they're gonna get marked once I get close. Because I don't see the second one. Yet. I wanna get them in order. But at least, at least try to get them in order if it's possible. Okay, let's unlock this one. I do have singles. I'm assuming it's like that. Then not that one. Looks like I'm gonna use the 
last single. Hopefully that's not a mistake. So far, so good. I think... Yeah. There we go. Uh, no legendary that didn't take long at all. Ah, true. Right, this is number six. Good to know. So I have six there. I think that was like four, three, four, six. I think I managed to find. And I see the gravity inside the base is low as well. So we don't need to open everything. Oh, as in all lockers to see if there's any slates inside. They might be in safes as well, now that I think about it. Ooh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. So it might be those two. Then like this, and this is actually on this side. Okay, no logs inside saves. So this was three, no, three, four, was it? And then six on the top. Kind of doubt there will be logs like next to each other, right? I'm assuming. Well, actually, there's five. Still not next next to each other, but close by. In that regard, I meant. So I just need to find the second one, which is here. Nice. Okay, let's continue. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. I admit, this is not the most disciplined team I've ever run. Malcolm keeps stealing computational time on Voltaire, and thinks I don't know this. And Sabina's been distracted lately, but won't tell anyone why. I really should demand answers from both of them. But honestly, I'm too preoccupied with this contract. We all are. Despite anything going on in our personal lives, there's something special about what we're building here. E? What's showing there? Now oh, just a random notepad. I thought maybe it would be a hidden slate. Okay. Yeah, I know I found most of the slate, but I'm curious to see if there's like a number seven or something. I don't think it is. So then number three was this one? Yeah. Voltaire really is something else. A supercomputer so powerful, they put it on the damn moon to keep it cool. Although by that logic, they should be running it purely in the vacuum of space. But hey, good marketing material. Uh, I've been spending some off hours running some dumb simulations, just because I can. My favorite so far is simulating the sound of every duck on Earth quacking after receiving a piece of bread. You didn't know you wanted a real-time sim of feeding all the ducks, but now you have it. <laughs> You're welcome, humanity. Uh, so, multiple projects happening at the same time. Or this was something like the guy did randomly. Just out of boredom. Okay, number four. Okay, confession time. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an hour to use the communication link to Earth every couple of days. And let me tell you, there's long distance dating, and then there's like long distance dating, you know? Oh, hey there. I'm a scientist, deadly employed, willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when I'm 
back from space. <laughs> it's not a great opening line. <sighs> uh, you seriously can't get a date? You're an astronaut. Hey, no one asked you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, long distance relationship can be really, really tough and not uh, not really good to be honest might as well don't bother in most of the cases <laughs> oh, I'm gonna eat that orange wait is that a cubed apple really yeah an apple flav flavored chunks food cube <laughs> eat that orange as well and let's get number five you ever get jealous you know the crew in the shipyard Building the actual vessels that are going to travel the stars? We're literally on a base on the moon. Oh, come on, Sabina. I'm trying to share my dreams here. Well, your dreams are always out there and never here where the rest of us live. Can't you just be happy doing your job? Where's the fun in that? Don't tell me Malcolm and Sabina got together in the end. Would be nice. Okay, and then number six, which I need to go up here. When I accepted the assignment up here, we were told to bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological study said it helped when you're away from Earth this long. I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap. And she'd teach me the Russian for all the numbers. She, uh... Just... Got word that she passed. The next shuttle isn't for three months, so I'll, uh... I won't be able to go to the funeral. <sighs> Goodbye, Babushka. Thank you for teaching me math. It brought me to the moon. Damn. All right, and that's actually all the slates. Cool. So not much in terms of what's going on here. Just some information about Voltaire. I think that was a computer. Yeah, Voltaire. I want to remind the research team that Voltaire is a highly pro proprietary supercomputer that is currently being contracted exclusively for the use in project, project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. Yes, it's amusing to see how, just how many decimal points of pi it can calculate, how many bits of encryption it can brute force, or whatever you can simulate table tennis with a perfect aerodynamic simulation, but there will be time for that later. For now, I need everyone concentrating on hitting our deadline. We're developing exciting new aerospace technology with our partner and client. Client, that should be more than enough to keep anyone from being bored. Okay, let's see about Project Prism. We are happy to announce that the first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I would like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at 0900 EDT. Reminder to please sync all watches to Eastern Daylight ti Time. Our partner will also be on radio for the launch. We'll be recording the event, so be on your best behavior. Okay, roof it is. So let's just take this exit. There's more buildings on that side. I wonder if this is part of the same research station. Engine spin up time almost complete. Total time 5 minutes 22 seconds. Right on schedule. How are the helium 3 valves holding, Nova? We double checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs green. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. 
It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time, Canaveral. Counting down in five, four, three, two, one. Canaveral, are you reading? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in... <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years, Nova. Interesting. Huh. So that kind of... Makes me think that there was some starborn influence, or something close to it. Okay, looks like we're gonna go to NASA. It's okay, that's North America. Hey, let's land. Okay, find the way inside. And this. Wait, where? I didn't leave my ship. <laughs> Ow, really? Uh... Sure, whatever. Let's get the conclusions off. So that's my destination over there. It's actually NASA. This is one of the towers that got us to safety among the stars. And yeah, I see one of the rockets. It's buried here. Alrighty then, so. Assuming this will be my entry. I bet that elevator shaft will take us deeper inside NASA. Might need to work through some rubble. Power cell. Assuming that's one. Can I open it now? Yes. Uh, I mean, is this actually the way? not be the way actually I just sure open the door for some trauma packs I'm hoping it's gonna close the doors yeah I'm hoping this actually put energy in other stuff as well and not just that door This way. I should have packed a sweater or ten. Eh, you'll be fine, Bert. Don't worry. How terrible it must have been for them to watch others escape while they realized it was over. Wait, which little path did you take, Barrett? Ah, maybe just jump back directly here. So I do need to get up. Hopefully this is the way. Did you pick? Sure, I'll get that one. I still have one... Uh, what is the... Energy cell as well. In case I need to use it. Yeah, 
it's not the DGP. Really looks like this one almost made it to launch. Wonder what the final problems were. I don't know, maybe we'll find out. Get the scanner out because I might be missing uh, some stuff around, such as maybe data slates or something. Looks like the lift is offline. Maybe we can restore power. Let's look around. Well, I have the energy cell. I just need to find where to place. Enough access codes. Oh, there it is. And more power cells. Right, I'll get these ones as well. Just in case. In case we need them later on. Yeah, thank you for telling me about the flashlight. It's already on. Don't worry, game. We find information about NASA. I mean, I can literally, literally just Google it and read something. <laughs> but now, okay. preparation area. I can't imagine how tense and chaotic it must have been. I thought I heard extra footsteps around. Okay, there's the computer. This door. Storage crate, nothing of interest. Okay, that's everything looks like. Just the computer. I'm not seeing any other paths. I mean this one might be our way forward. Ah, desk phone. Okay. Launch procedures. Remember the final vitals and suit seal checks are essential. Yes, we've come a long way as far as tolerances. Yes, the number of people cleared for launch is much higher than it used to be, but these people's lives are still in our hands. I know there's rumors that the next launch is slated to be cancelled, but let's not have that be on us. Assume it's go time every time. Your professionalism is what makes space travel just a little bit safer, and we can use every ounce we can get. Okay, access station logs, archives damage, running system recovery, partial archives retrieved. Okay, delivery from Mars. Station log, Dr. Judith Tatian. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they've brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Huh. Well, what about Victor Isa? Station log. Dr. Judith Tatian. I have been trying to call you up to Dr. Isa. Victor. To see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand refs, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I. I 
think I'm being invited into the lab. And about meeting today. Station log. Dr. Judith Satin. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was just to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I, I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window. So potential artifact. Information about the Martian sample. Is this? Okay, this is here. Okay, it looks like it is. Looks like forward. a structural collapse of the underlying strata. Typical of karst topography. Did you pick? Yeah, I'll get that one. They had a museum, but this whole place is a museum now. <laughs> anyway, looks like an exit at the end of the hall. Hey, big space and holy moly. Engine. Ships that could have maybe flown. Is that the International Space Station? Might be. Is there a space flight? Yeah, I think it might be. Right, there's stuff on the ground floor as well. I need to go over there. Gotcha. Just more or less finish with the upper floor, then I'll drop down. Also modeling, I thought that might have been something about what's in the well, quote unquote museum over here. You see, that's why we get along. Not because I'm <laughs> checking everything or trying to check everything, but. Okay, rovers. Wonder if that's the moon or the Mars one. Oh, there's actually there's a small one over here. Sealand. Oh, hello. Less advanced. Exam legendary pistol. Against aliens. See, literally a desert eagle. Yeah, I'll take it. Or it reminds me of a desert eagle. I'm pretty sure it might not be. Uh, I think this... Isn't this the... Ah, there it is. Lunar rover. Yeah, there it is. Lunar rover was used for the last Apollo missions. Could carry two astronauts. The chevron thread patterns made from titanium to help maintain traction on the moon's surface. Mercury spacesuit. This is Project Mercury, one of humanity's first space human flights programs. Mercury spacecraft was designed to fit a single person who would be sent to test a person's ability to function in space. Six flights in total were launched, the earliest being a 15 minutes of orbital flight, and the last being over 34 hours and 22 complete orbits. Damn. What about this one? Project Apollo it was the first successful program to put humanity on Earth's moon. July 20. Back. So I can get the Mercury spacesuit. Project Gemini was the learning mission while NASA. Okay. okay. 
this okay or the red lunar rover leaving earth forever 2150 was predicted the destruction of our beloved earth atmospheric phenomena would cause breathable air to spot outside of earth's gravity dooming all life that remained an estimated 50 years until the end has given nasa and other space agencies around the world the opportunity to migrate humanity away from certain death and into the stars thanks in the part of the development of the grab drive humanity will live on the mars oh look for the opportunity rover on mars really launch in 2003 and allow for the remote exploration study of mars Two twin rovers were made, nicknamed Spirit and Opportunity. While Spirit ceased communication function in 2010, the Opportunity rover continued operation well into 2018, exceeding its initial planned time by over 14 years. Damn. Good job. Uh, what else? Eagle module. Project Prism, NASA partner with Nova Galactic, the creators of Voltaire's supercomputer on a mission aerospace project to pull gravity itself. The result is the first spacecraft capable of faster than light travel. The first successful voyage saw astronauts reaching Jupiter in moments, but would previously taken years. Okay, what else did I miss? I mean, there's more here. I'm curious if I missed anything back here. F1 engine. Uh, this one. Ah, it's the same. And I'm assuming... Ah, just a platform to see from more higher up. Okay, so the only things that are left to check, a bit of history, is this one's a okay, project prism. Uh, okay, same information. Living outside Earth, while long term missions in space began in the late 1990s with programs such as the International Space Station, yep. Humanity began living on other planets almost 100 years later. Small outposts of five or fewer scientific research teams eventually gave way to entire colony effort on Mars and other orbiting bodies of our solar system. I guess that's pretty much it, actually. Is there's up here that I missed? Nah. Okay. Oh. Well, I've had that effect on people before. Really? It's just a <laughs> literally slate in a bathroom. Personal recording. I just don't understand where these calculations came from. There's something wrong with the math? I think it's quite straightforward. That's not what I'm asking. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effects. No motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you've had me building these prototype colliders for months. And now you want me to pump helium-3 into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against a brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm sorry, Judith. I... Look, not here, okay? Somewhere off base. I'll tell you everything. But I'm not lying, okay? We're going to discover something important here. I promise. Hmm. 
find information about the prototype grab drive. Okay. It is over there. Any other slates? So yeah, I still have a feeling there might have been some outside influence. Final days of humanity on Earth must have been a special sort of hell for hopeful scientists. So we're gonna need to go outside. Also, wait, which is the way? I think it's this way. Yeah, go. Oh, locked door, really? Hey, let's see. If there's anything interesting behind here uh, okay it's this one then like this hopefully and this with a single yeah perfect oh did not make any mistakes circuit it's not uh, the same as what I have to give some energy power required yep yes it's gonna be behind here no oh, actually no it's just a literal power switch I don't need to insert anything cool so I still have two of those energy cell sure where I step I don't want to fall in a bigger chasm a more power cells I have four now There's what I need to insert. Nothing else up here. Uh, I think there might be a slate behind this door. But not sure. I just see a s slate, something that you can put your slates on. And this one should be like this with. This perfect. Aha! Open! The suspense is killing me. Well, it's a maintenance key. So close. I might need it. And of course more power cells. I got my digital peak back, so that's great. So I'm hoping that means I don't need to lockpick some of the doors. Unless I already lockpicked <laughs> all the doors that that I can. Okay, so far pretty straightforward. So I guess this is just gather information around another did you peek over there sealant oh the 
just said, not a lot of fighting. And guess what? Progress to hostilities already. Hmm. Guess we made a bad impression. Ah, over better. there. Cool. Much better. Ah, I guess a bit of action doesn't hurt. Well, right, look where at do I that. need to? Vasco definitely takes after this side of the family. Hmm. Well, he's not exactly going around shooting at us, but sure. Y yet, at least. I don't know. Okay, apparently this is not unlocked with the maintenance key I just got. Wonderful. I'm assuming it's gonna be these ones. Ah, okay. It's not exactly. like that okay what if i no oh hmm so i don't think no oh, actually hold up what if it's like this no Not that one. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think it's like this. Cool. Oh, is that to insert or oh, just a power switch? Which probably would be needed somewhere. Emergency turret control. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna hack this one. Because let me guess, already took care of all the turrets. So I'm just gonna waste a digit pick on it. And actually, I did not need to open that door regardless. God damn it. Because I had the uh, entry on the other side. Oh, uh, well, it is what it is. base though zero wire nothing of interest not even some digi peaks around maybe Actually, if you hadn't been able to convince people to invest this much, I wonder if humanity would still be here. Ah, I'm pretty sure somebody would have invested. I'm assuming this is gonna be the artifact isn't far now. Where I need But look at all this stuff. Simply astounding. Oh, thank you for the for that comment. No no for sure. They found an artifact. Wonderful. Right. Security procedures, check all badges before allowing access. Yes, even the generals, I don't care how angry they get. They, these are direct orders from the secretary. Absolutely no phones or recording devices, all written materials, clipboards, notebooks. Have to be checked on exit from the labs. Confiscate anything with confidential information on it. Hey, 
April 14 to 2038. Project log. Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore. But further work is going to have to take place in space. Somewhere with abundant helium-3 and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us? It's all going to be possible. Okay, and what happened on December 8th, 2000... Project log. Dr. Judith Petian. I watched the Gravjet test from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. It could take years. Decades before we know what all these side effects of operating a grab drive can be, but no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. Hmm. Side effects. I wonder what those could be. First things, let's check over here. Okay, I'm gonna clear the DigiPix that I don't need. Okay, let's assume that's the one. I'm gonna have to sacrifice a single. It's gonna be another single over here, and then. This should line up all good, right? Yeah, nice. And click, you got it. Home relay. Oh, this one is actually open. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So this is like a shortcut, gotcha. Can we have the gravity back or because I opened that one? Right, uh, let's open this safe. Mm. Ah, okay. I don't have a single. Could it be actually my this way? Okay, I think it's this and this, and then here. Ah, okay, should be easy peasy. Cool. Just my ammunition, don't care about it. Gravity is back to normal for the moment. The multiple entryways. Gotcha. Okay, maintenance key came into effect. So that's the shaft I could have taken. Or actually, this was the shaft. Never mind. Okay, so it's 
So I think this is just multiple entryways. Oh. Somebody got shot here. The maintenance key. Already have one. Not sure. Get another one. Just gonna have a quick look around. This should uh, loop, right? This ones, so I think this ones, yes. And this with this, cool. This should just be like a storage area, right? Safe. Let's open that one. Okay, this is actually a single. And looks like I might need to use it here. By the looks of it. And then you and you like that. There we go. Perfect. Might say kit. Right. So this is the doctor. Cool, what happened here? Prototype drive. Please be careful whenever running power through the prototype. Secure all loose objects and have researchers empty pockets and remove jewelry, watches, etc. A reminder that the core of the drive contains a specimen that is irreplaceable and all data is under the strictest clearance. Exercise all caution with all research materials and ensure the information does not leave this lab. Okay, let's see with the logs. We have four of them. Uh, February 12th, 2149, whatever. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the Grab Drive projects. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now, Project Demeter, you want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we've seen. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I just want to be sure. Not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? Hmm. Okay, let's see. August 21st, same year. To Judith, Tatiane, Victor, Isa, Lan Su. As requested, the astrophysics research team has done a full analysis of the data you provided us. The measurements of the Earth's magnetosphere show clear signs of fluctuation, often in correlation to the periods of frequent and large gravity wave spikes emanating from the Moon. This gravity wave seems to be affecting the magnetic shield provided by the Earth's inner core and may be affecting the core itself, give the proximity to the source. The data indicates the change rate is increasingly exponentially, is increasing exponentially. As our magnetosphere falters, its ability to protect us from the sun's solar winds falters. Beyond the devastating effects of solar radiation, this will lead to something more dire, the sputtering or stripping away of our atmosphere. This has happened before to Mars, a planet studied since the earliest days of space to see into Earth's possible future. We are afraid this future may be closer than we ever thought imaginable. Some may view this data as normal, there have been historical fluctuation and polarity changes of Earth's core, but this is orders of magnitude greater. We see echoes of previous generations, debates over global warming, and we want the signs here to be clear. Like waves in the oceans, the gravity waves 
rise and eventually crash into shore. The Earth with devastating consequences. Dr. Luke Andrews, Art Chief Scientist. And then the next day. I know what I'm seeing, Victor. The data coming back from the satellites is very clear. It's the graph drives. All those jumps from the moon. At this rate, Earth's atmosphere is going to start sputtering out into space. Can the drives be fixed? I'm working on some designs that should discreetly solve the problem. Under the guise of an emergency update to the fueling pumps. We're talking about the end of Earth, and you're trying to be subtle about it. Judith, the last thing we need is people losing faith in grab drive technology. That might be our only option. To what? Are you seriously saying we should abandon Earth? The timeline is under 50 years. A blink of an eye for a planet, but more than enough time for a human exodus. And what do we tell people? We say it's an act of God, one that science has found a solution for. Time for humanity to take its place in the stars. You know, didn't you? You lied to me. I... All this time, I dedicated my life to this discovery, Victor. And you knew we were going to kill off our planet? You haven't seen the future I've seen. There's an infinite expanse of promise out there. A meteor could have hit Earth. A plague, another world war. Colonizing other galaxies secures humanity's future for all coming generations, across all time. At the expense of our home. Stop it, both of you. All that matters is building enough ships to get everyone off this planet. And we need to start now. I'll draft up a statement. We'll need to address the entire international community. I'm sorry, Judith. There isn't a planet in this universe that will be far enough away from you, Victor. We are never speaking again after this is over. Damn. Okay, so the grab drives screw the earth. Okay, so there's one last log, September 8th, and this is like 2160. My name is Dr. Victor Isa, and if you're listening to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I... I hope you'll accept this confession, whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive. This artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. Huh. Okay, so we need to get the artifact. Is it? Oh, was it just a fluke? A terrible but inevitable disaster? The crab drives? How did we not realize? Okay, there's release the artifact. It's right there. So he met a future version of himself. Looks of it. Uh, how do I get there? 
Actually, okay, I made a 360 over here. That's the storeroom. Ah, over here. Maintenance key, just a random scientist. I thought maybe it would be somebody else. Uh, you know what? I'm okay not opening that gate, to be honest. by any chance so yeah did he meet a future version of himself which kind of then makes the theory that time is relevant with the artifacts Wonderful. Right. So we need to leave, which hopefully it's close by. That I don't need to uh, go all over the base, right? Oh, there's. Again. I do have to backtrack most of the base. God damn it. I was hoping for a shortcut. Or well, maybe there was a shortcut and I kinda missed it. Say anything. Keep her eyes open, Barrett. Ah, wonderful power required, of course. Did I already put one? No, not in this one. Emergency exit here. Did I miss it or trauma pack? This is an entirely new area, right? Or feels like it. And that. Nope. I screwed that one. I uh, wasted a digit peak. Okay, I still have Always a pleasure watching quite you work. a bit. Uh, I guess this was a shortcut, I guess. Yeah. Well, not exactly. I would say it was uh, kind of. Bit of a waste of a digi peak, in my opinion. So I need to get there. I doubt it. Right here. 
Where are you guys? I'm assuming you're on top. Your head up. Hada. Good night. Uh, looks like you're telling me it's this way. Cool. way right but uh unfortunately i think i'm gonna leave it here for this episode because it's uh getting a bit on the longer side we'll continue next time because we might have a long conversation with the emissary and the hunter and we see what's that about so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this episode guys and i'll see you next time but as always don't forget to take care